Have you ever wondered why climate change is sometimes called the climate crisis, or more menacingly, the climate emergency? Perhaps you think, wait a minute, doesn't an emergency require immediate action? And aren't the changes in climate so gradual and slow and subtle that there's still plenty of time to address them in the future? Unfortunately not. Climate scientists often speak of climate system inertia, meaning that a time lag delays impacts by several decades. Here is one way to look at the issue. Consider the braking distance of different modes of transportation. Imagine you are driving at 100 kilometers an hour. Across the road, 100 meters in front of you, is an overturned truck. You slam on the brakes and screech to a complete halt just short of the truck. Now, imagine yourself as the captain of an ocean liner, sailing at cruising speed. Your stopping distance now measures many kilometers. Looking into the horizon, you have to carefully consider consequences still a long way off. This is your only chance to avoid them. Remember the Titanic? Despite a rigorous last minute maneuver, its stopping distance was too great to avoid collision with the iceberg. We all know what happened next. Now, apply stopping distance to the process of climate change. Even if greenhouse gas emissions could be stopped tomorrow, it would take decades for temperature rises to slow down and peak. Since industrialization, temperatures have already risen 0.8 degrees. But stopping distance implies that they cannot be stopped short of reaching 1.3 degrees. Given that scientists say a two degree rise spells unacceptable danger, climate change is indeed an emergency. A recent UN report highlighted this point. There is a window of opportunity for avoiding the most damaging climate change impacts, but that window is closing. The world has less than a decade to change course. Actions taken or not taken will have a profound bearing on the future. So, next time someone suggests that there's still plenty of time to address climate change in the future, remind them of the Titanic.